Richard Gladwell McGowan, born 1937, also known as Dr. Death, is a Scottish Zimbabwean former anaesthetist, murderer and suspected serial killer. He was found guilty of murdering two children from 1986 to 1992 by injecting large amounts of morphine into their bodies, but is suspected of murdering at least three others as well. He was found guilty of culpable homicide and sentenced to a year in prison, after which he was released and returned to the UK. Richard Gladwell McGowan was born in 1937 in India, but was brought up in Glasgow, later studying at the University of Edinburgh, from which he graduated in 1959. He worked in Sweden and Zambia before moving to Rhodesia modern-day Zimbabwe in the late 1960s, where he gained a reputation as a consultant anaesthetist. McGowan eventually developed a deep interest in post-operative pain relief and decided to begin experimenting with new drugs and anaesthetics in 1981 on his predominantly underage black patients. From 1986 to 1992, he performed his method on 500 patients without their knowledge. Among his victims were 10-year-old Kenyan-born girl Lavender Cominwa who died following a supposed appendectomy and two and a half years old Kalpesh Najindas, a Zimbabwean boy of Indian origin. Najindas had been admitted to the Avenues Clinic in Harare on 13 July 1988 for a circumcision, because he had problems urinating. Instead, the toddler's spine was injected with morphine to supposedly relieve the pain after the operation. Following the surgery, McGowan handed the child over to his father, Ansak Najindas, with the following words, Here is your child. I've brought him back from the dead. The boy was irritable and later fell into a deep sleep, before he began to vomit yellow liquid. Najindas was taken back to the hospital, where he died six hours after his operation. McGowan is also suspected of murdering four-year-old Tsitsi Chidodo, a Zimbabwean girl, Irene Papathiatrus, a mother of Greek descent, and 62-year-old Nigerian woman Rosa Pink Osazua. Nurses who worked alongside McGowan expressed their concerns about the high number of deaths, but initially, nobody took them seriously. However, in 1993 a parliamentary report alleged that the doctor had carried out clinical trials without following the necessary procedures. The nurses were the first to inform the press on the matter, but nothing could be done at that point, since most of the cases were considered sudden deaths. After some time, McGowan was investigated on allegations for negligence, gross incompetence and disgraceful conduct. He was eventually arrested and brought to court. When the news broke, a group of students led by Obey Mudzingwa began protesting, even threatening to attack white people if the doctor wasn't sentenced. In the courtroom he argued that he injected the children with morphine because if it worked on adults, it would also work on children. Zimbabwe's Attorney General Patrick Chinamosa, head of the prosecution team, described the anaesthetist as a messenger of death stalking our hospitals. During trial, he was observed playing with a metal chain, eating sweets and humming to himself, for which he was reprimanded by Judge Paddington Goy. The doctor was charged with five deaths, but only convicted of the murders of Najindas and Cominwa. Charles Cominwa, lawyer and father of the murdered girl, criticized the prosecutors for failing to explain why they dropped the charges against McGowan carrying out experiments on black people. His opinion was backed by the majority of Zimbabweans, who described McGowan as a Nazi and a racist. Despite pleading not guilty, McGowan was sentenced to a year in prison, six months of which included a suspended sentence, and to pay $1,250 to the families. Mansak Najindas, father of the murdered Kalpesh, said that the sentence was a mockery of justice. After serving out his sentence, McGowan was released, returning to his native UK. He tried to appeal in a London court in an attempt to retain his license, since he was still eligible to practice in the UK. He admitted to breaching his duty to ensure safe recovery, but denied any serious professional misconduct and failure to properly care in the death of Lavender Cominwa. However, the British General Medical Court 
following a similar 1,995 ruling by the Health Professions Council of Zimbabwe, banned him from practicing medicine anywhere in the world.